What you seek isn't mine. What you seek is something inside yourself. It's something deep within you that's been there since the day you were born and it'll be with you till you die. And it's a connection between you and the whatever you want to call it, divine mind. Somebody said to me, how, how do we lose this? When a baby is in its mother's womb, the good Lord gives it something called a soul. And soul is pure consciousness. Now when that baby comes out into this world, it starts using the three principles to recognize existence and to go through existence. The second it does that, it's in the intellect or your ego. And when it does that, you lose that wisdom. You leave it behind. You lose it. So the idea is to go back and get it. You know, go back from whence you came. And the only way you can do that is look within, because there lies the answer. Now, a lot of people, they, they, what you're searching is for is a silent mind, a state of no thought. Now, I said to somebody once, what you're looking for is a state of no thought. I said, well, we have no thought. How can we think? And I said, well, it's not like that. What you do is you get a silent mind, then you go inside, you have a realization of this wisdom that lies within, then bingo, you get it. And when you get it, it enhances your life. If you just enjoy yourself, stop looking for any more, read the books, yes, enjoy it. Listen to tapes, enjoy it. But don't go look, looking, looking, looking. You'll never find it because you're saying, I haven't got it, and it's inside. So what you do is you silence your mind to a state of no thought. Then divine thought comes in, and you have the answer.